Hi, welcome to the Cooking Good Kitchen. I'm Wendy and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken sweet and sour. So popular Chinese um, takeaway, which we're going to make at home, um, which will be healthy and nutritious for your family. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is run through the ingredients. We're going to make the sauce element first. So for that, we need um, a tin of pineapple, we need some corn flour, water, dark soy sauce, some white wine vinegar, some chilli flakes and some tomato ketchup. So the first thing we're going to do is put the corn flour into a bowl and we need two tablespoons of corn flour. there we're going to just open the pineapple tin slightly and just pour in a small amount of juice just to get it started. We'll mix that together till we start to get a, a paste and a bit more juice. rest of the juice. So all of that pineapple juice is going into there. And we'll give that a good stir. You can feel the corn flour at the bottom, it tends to settle. So just give it a good stir around. So into that mixture, once it's all stirred together, we're going to put 150 millilitres of water. And then we're going to add the remaining ingredients. So we're going to put in the soy sauce, which is two tablespoons. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Put a bit too much in there. Just do a smaller one next time. And then we're going to put in two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. And then we're going to put in half a teaspoon of chilli flakes. And that is the sauce, all prepared, ready to go into our sweet and sour chicken. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually prepare the meat and, and vegetable element of this dish. So the first thing we're going to do is um, chop our onion. Now I've got the skin off, we're going to put this into wedges. into the pan and then we're going to cut two peppers now for the peppers it doesn't matter what colour they are 
So if you've got two red ones or two yellow ones, that's fine. Here we've got a mix of red and green. And I'm taking out that part with the seeds. And I'm going to cut these into chunks. And we'll do the same with the green one. Now I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of sunflower or olive oil into the pan. And we'll put that onto the heat. Okay, so before we start cooking the peppers, if you've got chicken breasts, or you could actually um, make sweet and sour pork if you wanted to use pork fillet, You'd need to chop the chicken or the pork at this point before you start. I've actually cheated and bought some diced chicken breast because it was actually cheaper per kilo than the um, unchopped, which is very unusual. So I've cheated a little bit. I'm also cheating with the garlic. I buy um, lazy garlic, which is already chopped, which is brilliant and really economical and it stays in the fridge for ages. And I also buy ginger paste. Um, because I find that the ginger tends to go off before I can use it all, so I tend to use ginger paste as well. So we're going to heat and cook through our peppers now. So let's do that first. So we're going to do this for a couple of minutes, just until they start to soften. Okay, so peppers have had about three minutes starting to cook down. So the next thing we're going to do is add our chicken. And we're going to cook that for about five minutes. like sizzle television this isn't it okay so I've cooked this chicken a little bit longer than it said on the recipe card because I needed to make sure it was cooked all the way through and there was no pink still in the middle so don't want to give my family food poisoning so the next thing we're going to do is add the garlic now on the recipe it says two cloves so a teaspoon is pretty equivalent to a clove I like it quite garlicky anyway. And then we're also going to add some ginger. Just going to add a teaspoon of ginger paste because it's quite strong. And we'll give that a stir. It smells nice. Now if you were adding water chestnuts, which my family don't like, but they are on the recipe and they are optional. So if you're adding water chestnuts, this is the point that you would add them. And once we've given that all a good mix, we're going to put the pineapple chunks in. And if you couldn't get hold of pineapple chunks, you could buy pineapple rings and literally just segment them in the tin before you pour them in. So just warm that through a little bit. And the next bit is the magic bit. So we're going to give our previously made sauce, a bit of a stir. Can you see the bottom of it? All the cornflour's gone to the bottom. So we'll give that a really good stir, mix it all together. And at the moment, you can see it looks a bit like really thin, watery gravy. So we're going to add that to the chicken. And then you watch. 
So as the sauce heats, the corn flour that we added starts to thicken the sauce and it will start to go thicker, glossier and it will start to take on not quite the orange colour that you get from a Chinese takeaway. It won't be quite that bright but it will definitely change. It's still quite watery at the moment but it will thicken. So I can just feel that this sauce is just starting to thicken. You can see it's starting to bubble around the edges. So that's probably taken a couple of minutes to get to that stage. So don't panic if it doesn't thicken straight away. It does have to get up to the right temperature before it will start to thicken. It's just starting to thicken now. That's what we want. Not runny and watery anymore. It's nice and thick. Getting thicker by the minute. So there we have it. That is our sweet and sour chicken, which as I said could be sweet and sour pork. Um, I'm just going to let that bubble away for a few minutes and I'm going to serve it today with some rice but you could also serve it with noodles um, and hopefully your family will love it. Thanks for joining us in the Cooking Good Kitchen.